Good morning. This is Mr. Bellio. Today, I'm going to share about my seminar paper entitled Learning Package for Pre-Service Science Teachers to Develop Lesson Plans in Physics Using Azure Instructional Model. Introduction. To become skilled instructors in today's classroom is crucial to know when to use the instructional strategies and interactive multimedia. Robert Heinick and Michael Molenda of Indiana University and James D. Russell of Purdue University found that media and technologies are important factors of effective and systematic planning in teaching. And therefore, they have developed the Azure model in the 1990s. What is Azure model? The Azure model is a procedural guide for planning and delivering instruction that integrates media into the teaching process. It is also a systematic approach to write lesson plans, a plan used to help teachers organize instructional procedures, a plan used to help teachers do an authentic assessment of student learning, and a model that can be used by all presenters. How is it benefit learning process? The Azure Learning Model represents a manner of planning for student learning that will assure success. Planning learning sessions around this model will ensure effective and valuable learning for participants. The Azure Learning Model can be used for students at any grade level, including adults in professional development. Azure is an acronym stands for A analyze learners, S state objectives, S select methods, media and materials, U utilize media and materials, R require learner participation, E evaluate and revise. Analyze learners. Before you begin the session, you must know your target audience. Understanding the learners is a key in preparing a successful learning session. Ask questions such as, what are all the prerequisites? Do the learners have the knowledge base required to enter the lesson? Why is the learner taking this course? What type of learning styles can motivate the learners? Once instructors understanding their learners, the planning may progress to the next element of the Azure model, which is stating objectives. Stating objectives. Stating the objectives of the session allows learners to understand ahead of time the purpose of the session. Things to keep in mind as you write your objectives are focus on the learner not the teacher. Use behaviors that reflect real-world concerns. Objectives are descriptions of the learning outcomes and are written using ABCD format. So what is this ABCD? The ABCDs of writing objectives. A. Audience. Who is the audience? B. Behavior or the capability needs to be demonstrated as learner performance. Condition, under what conditions are the learners to demonstrate the skills being taught? And degree, degree to which new skills must be mastered. So next step is select method, media, and materials. Once you know your students and have a clear idea of what they should get from the lesson, then you are ready to select the instructional method that you feel most appropriate to meet the objectives, the media that you would be best suited to work with your students. Media could be text, images, video, audio, and computer multimedia. And materials that may help your students in mastering the objectives. It could be software programs, music, CD, images, or equipment such as projector, TV, DVD, etc. 
Utilize methods, media, and materials. Now it's time to do your lesson and use the media and materials that you have selected. You should review the material. Never use anything in class that you have not checked thoroughly. Uh, prepare the material. Make sure you have uh, everything you need and it all works. Prepare the environment. Set up the classroom so that whatever you're doing will work well. Prepare the learners. Give the students an overview. Explain how they can take this in info and use it and how they will be evaluated. Then, provide the learning experience. Teaching is simply high theater. Showmanship is part of the instructor's job. Teaching and learning should be an experience and not an ordeal. Require learner participation. Remember, learners learn best when they are actively involved in the learning. So, describe how you want the students to participate in the class. Example, group work, presentations, discussions, games, etc. Avoid lecturing for an entire hour. Listen to your students and allow them to become alert of the content. Evaluate and revise. This last stage is often neglected but it is the most important one. Evaluate your students' performance by question and answer session, forums, etc. Evaluate media components effectiveness. Evaluate instructor performance and revisions. Remember, you are not a bad teacher if a lesson does not work. You are a bad teacher if you don't reflect upon your lessons and work on revising elements of the lesson until your students become successful learners. So this is a sample Azure lesson plan. Uh, analyze learners, second grade. There are 22 students, 14 female and 8 males. Prior knowledge, prior skills. And of course, uh, learning styles. Uh, students could be visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. This is an example of stating the objectives for the audience, behavior, condition, and degree. Utilize media methods and materials. You have to preview the material, prepare the material, prepare the environment, prepare the learners, and provide the learning experience. Require learner participation. The students will be actively be involved in the lesson by creating a Word document, for example, of their favorite celebration with five reasons why and will be asked to share with the class. Uh, evaluate and revise. So evaluate student performance, evaluate media component, and evaluate instructor performance. Uh, since this is part of uh, school-wide action research, uh, we came up with developing the learning package. Now this time, uh, the physics concept involves Four topics, which are essentially multidisciplinary, like for example, mechanics and heat is a combination of Newtonian physics and thermodynamics, and modern physics also is interdisciplinary in nature because it consists of topics from relativity to cosmology. For the teaching strategies, we include the uh, uh, the latest and trending strategies inclined to 21st century learning. So we have the five E's, carousel brainstorming, predict, observe, explain, or POE, appreciate, inquiry, and behavior model. We also have technology uh, like smart board, multimedia, uh, LCD or flat screen TV, Photography and videography.
and to evaluate the learning of our students, we have alternative assessment such as performance-based assessment, authentic or project assessment, portfolio, journal, and essay. Strengths and weaknesses of Azure model. Azure model promotes planning and delivery of instruction using technology and media. The model is easy to follow, uh, learner-centered, and step-by-step -step procedures taking into account all the details of the instruction, and well-stated objectives using the ABCD formula. And that, uh, that's the strengths of the Azure model. For the weaknesses, uh, it is time-consuming to create for several lessons and the narrow scope where focus is on unit, lesson, or module alone. So recent innovations using Azure model, Arifiani, Custono, and Patmantara in 2016 developed a learning module by combining both project-based learning and Azure model approaches. In conclusion, by following the six steps of the Azure model, instructors are able to incorporate new technologies and technology-based media into their courses appropriately and effectively. Heinick Molenda Russell Smoldino in 2002 states that all effective instruction require careful planning. Incorporating the Azure Learning Model into the planning and delivery of instruction will ascertain successful delivery as well as learner outcomes. For the references, thank you for listening.